E. Great Expectations, 1946, is hailed as one of the greatest films of all time, and it's easy to see why. If you're as enamored with this cinematic masterpiece as I am, let's gather around the campfire of nostalgia to reflect on the esteemed cast, both then and how they stand in 2024. Gene Simmons. As young Estella Gene Simmons brought young Estella to life in 1946. At the time of filming, she was just 17 years old. It was with heavy hearts that we bid farewell to Simmons, who passed away on January 22, 2010, at the age of 80 in Santa Monica, California, USA. He cards with this boy. With this boy? But he is a common laboring boy. And look at his boots. And all of a sudden, from nowhere, this fluke happened. And I'm over there. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I still can't quite get over it, although I miss home. Francis L. Sullivan as Mr. Jaggers. Francis L. Sullivan played the formidable Mr. Jaggers in 1946 at 43 years old. His imposing presence was sadly missed after his passing on November 19, 1956, at the age of 53 in New York City, USA. Two, we better go into the house. Now, Joseph Gargery, I am the bearer of an offer to relieve you of this young fellow. So, Ludovic Altimus, at your service. Pleasure to meet you. You mean it's a pleasure to catch up with me, don't you? That's more accurate. John Mills as Pip John Mills portrayed Pip in 1946, a role he took on at 38 years of age. Mills's legacy lasted until he passed away at the age of 97 on April 23, 2005, in Denham, Buckinghamshire, England. Well? I've come into such good fortune since I saw you last, Miss Haversham, and I'm, I'm so grateful for it. I've seen Miss Cotton. So I really owe Jonathan quite a lot. This is your uh, son, Jonathan, we're talking yes, about. Yes, so, so what, he brought these out of the attic and decided then to sift through them and... Valerie Hobson, as Estella Valerie Hobson, graced the screen as the adult Estella in 1946, when she was 29 years old. Hobson left a lasting impression before her passing on November 13, 1998, at 91 in Westminster, London, England. You're not heard. I've been ill, Estella. I've heard nothing. When Mr. Jaggers disclosed to Bentley Drass meeting, and I have tried to think what Henry's wishes would be. I remember he said to me once, you have too much good in you, Edith, for one man. Eileen Erskine as Biddy Eileen. Erskine portrayed Biddy in 1946 when she was 32. Her memory remained alive until November 8, 1995, when she passed away at 81 in Sheringham, Norfolk, England. How was you, Pip? I don't think it would answer. Biddy, I have a particular reason for wanting to be a gentleman. There now. She'll be snapping our heads off for the rest of the day. We spoiled her when she was little. We've always spoiled oh, her. Oh, it's not only that, Frank. She's upset about something, sort of strung up. Alec Guinness as Herbert Pocket. Alec Guinness brought charm and warmth to the role of Herbert Pocket in 1946, a character he played at 32 years of age. Guinness passed away on August 5, 2000, at 86 in Midhurst, West Sussex, England. I mean, I'm extremely sorry, but the fact is I've been out on your account, for I thought coming from the country you might like a little fruit, and I went to Covent Garden Market to get it good. Well, thank you. It's very nice of you. Little character, rather sort of fluffy, and I thought, hmm, maybe that's, um, maybe something on those lines. And then I realized that a bank clerk. Finley Curry as Magwitch Finley Curry captured the screen as Magwitch in 1946 at the age of 68. He continued to impress audiences until his passing on May 9th, 1968. I wish to say something respecting this escape. It may prevent some persons laying under suspicion along me. What is it? I took the ranks. <laughs> Forty years ago, they wouldn't have been allowed to show a drunken navvy to his seat in the old star Bermondsey. Frida Jackson as Mrs. Joe Frida Jackson portrayed the stern Mrs. Joe in 1946 at 39 years old. Her legacy endured until her passing on October 20th, 1990, at 82 in Northampton, England. Now then, where have you been? 
I've only been to the churchyard. Churchyard, indeed. You'd have been in the churchyard long ago if it hadn't been for me and stayed there. Tony Wager, as young Pip Tony Wager played young Pip in 1946 at just 14 years old. Wager left this world on December 23rd, 1990, at the age of 58 in Bali, Indonesia. Jet? With my sister, sir, Mrs. Joe Gardry, wife of Joe Gardry the blacksmith. Blacksmith, eh? Martita Hunt as Miss Havisham Martita Hunt delivered a haunting performance as Miss Havisham in 1946 when she was 38. Hunt passed away on June 13, 1969, at 70 in London, England. Since you were born? No. Do you know what I touch? Ivor Barnard, as Mr. Wemmick Ivor Barnard, played Mr. Wemmick in 1946 at 59 years old. His presence was felt until he passed away on June 30th, 1953, at 66 in Westminster, London, England. No, he is not. He's in court at present. Am I addressing Mr. Pip? Yes, I'm Mr. Pip. Mr. Jagger's left word, would you wait in his room? Come this way. Bernard Miles as Joe Gargery. Bernard Miles brought kindness to life as Joe Gargery in 1946 at the age of 39. He continued to be a beloved figure until his death on June 14, 1991, at 83, in Knaresborough, North Yorkshire, England. Mrs. Joe's been out a dozen times looking for you, Pip. She's out again now, making it a baker's dozen. She... Hey Petrie as Uncle Pumblechook. Hey Petrie portrayed the comedic Uncle Pumblechook in 1946 when he was 51. We lost Petrie on July 30th, 1948 at 53 in Fulham, London, UK. Can you read the time, boy? Yes, sir. A quarter past three. Punctual to the minute. Let it be a lesson. So, who was your favorite character from Great Expectations? And what are your thoughts on the passing of these remarkable actors?